Hello traders, uh, hello traders. The title of the video is uh, how to combine trend lines and consolidation trading Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. Let's get started. All right. So we want to combine trend lines and consolidation trading. So you may say to me, George, the price is not trending. Is consolidating between a support and a resistance level. How can we use a trend line in that environment? George, is he April Fool? Show us the pudding. All right. Let's begin the demonstration of how to combine a trend line and a consolidation trading. Very often, all right, when traders are trading a consolidation, either in a horizontal channel or a trend line, very often traders will turn into an, into what we call the automated traders. So they just selling at the top and they are buying at the low and then probably uh, they will cross uh, their ears, their hair, hoping that everything works well. It's a very simple way to trade using uh, okay, uh, the consolidation trading method, but sometimes it's very, very useful to combine the consolidation trading and the trend line. And the computers and the professional traders are doing that, all right? Maybe you have learned to master the consolidation before, and you say to me, George, this is a baby food. I'm not eating a baby food. I want to eat a hot curry, crush a combo, or something more solid. All right, stay with us, please, all right? So I've drawn many lines on my chart. In fact, you cannot, you may say, George, what a messy chart because I draw many lines, but I'm going to explain to you. Attention, please. The Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, is consolidating between the level of 88797 and the level of uh, 81714. See those, you see the black line here? That's a resistance. And this one here, that's a support. See, it's consolidating. Agree or disagree? Please agree, otherwise trader will bash you in the comment section. So now you see, it start, people bought it, it crashed through the consolidation. These are um, uh, market geometry advanced traders who bought it below the consolidation by projecting the width, all right, of uh, that uh, consolidation somewhere down there. You see, somewhere down there, okay? So they bought it near the media line of the projected channel using market geometry. That's why you have that still there. But you see, because you see the price is consolidated, yes or no? But I want to draw, I draw, you see, I, you have a blue trend line, okay? Another blue trend line here, all right? But I want you to concentrate first on the red one. So the first one is this one here, connecting this point here where my cursor is, all right, and this one here, okay, what I'm going to do, so you may see what I'm doing, I'll change the color of that into green, can you see that green trend line, the red one, that, this one, so this point, and that point, we are talking about consolidation, look, as the prior reached the top of the consolidation here, after the body here, the prior was retesting what? that green trend line on the edge. Will you agree with me that it is possible that trader combine the consolidation and the trend line to pinpoint the best place? That's why they sell it here. Shh, down. Now, pay attention to the next one, the next red line, this one. I'm talking about this one here. So now we are connecting this point here, this one here, where my cursor is, all right, to this one here, to this point here. So I'm going to change again the color of that one also into green. Now I'll use a different color so you can spot it 
to orange, all right? Attention to the orange thick tray line. This point and this one. Allow her to draw that orange tray line. Will you agree with me that tray line can combine consolidation and the tray line? So primary below that orange tray line, and then you want to retest what? On the edge, that orange tray line. And people are shelling on the edge of it this month of uh, March 2019. Because I'm recording this video today on the 7th of March 2019, and the time is 55 minutes past 2 p.m. You see? You see now? Now, I haven't finished yet. There is one more trend line. This one. Pay attention to this one. I will change that one uh, into black. Did you say black bear Shotokan? Oh, you have been watching our video for some time. See, George, you always say black bear Shotokan. <laughs> the black one here. All right. So we connect this point where my cursor is to this one here. We have the black trend line. Again, you see the conversion point between the orange and the black trend line. Hot spot trading zone. Priority to bullish signal above 85236. And priority to bearish signal below it because it is a hot spot trading zone. Will you agree that one can combine a consolidation, which is not a trending price action, with a trend line? Agree or disagree? Or let us know in the comment section so we may bash you a little bit, not too much. Okay. One more trend line here. The, the last one here. All right. Again, I will change the color of it so you may see clearly on your chart. I'm running out of color now. Can we use the yellow? Oh, it's not very clear. All right, let's use pink, all right? Because I have other pink trend line on the chart, I'll make it really, really thick so you can't miss it. So now you see it, that trend line connected this point, okay, here, this trend line here. All right, it makes sense? So what we have done, we connected to this point, or that point, you may see that point, this point here. And the, the end of the tail of this one here. With those two points, we draw that thick pink trend line. Look, recently the price pulled back to retest it, got a tasty pew, it went through it, but gently they closed above it. <laughs> they closed above it. And then after this kind of CBA is open, this one, you see, that's why sometimes you want to buy, you see, you want to buy here. You may say, why are the price going down? Just say prior to bullish signal above, prior to best, you know, like the price pull back a bit, pull back a bit to retest the pink trend line before they push it back up. But note, this is, this is not easy one for a lot of traders, but you can see that we have an intersection, a horse portrait is on. Are you, are you, are you following us? Why is the horse portrait is on? Now, we are not talking about the orange trend line because the orange trend line we connect with this point, so that orange trend line we didn't draw at that time. But there is an intersection between the horizontal black trend line and what? That pink trend line. The horizontal black trend line is a hot spot trend zone. Yes or no? So you may say to me, George, I don't know what you meant by hot spot trend zone. Go to www.stochastic-market.com, check hot spot trading web page yes not only that look recently you got that this can receiver when the P everybody was trying to buy at the lower part of the consolidation with the market geometry traders there is an intersection between the media line did you see that if you did you can call yourself an advanced trader Intersection between the projected channel, which I mentioned briefly because I don't want to dwell on it, measuring the width of that channel, projecting in the direction of the price, and the price maybe there's a media line somewhere there, somewhere there, and the intersection between that peak trend line and that media line, we have again a horse portrait zone. So they say, bring it to the best place. So People were buying here because of the consolidation play, you see? So that's what I'm saying to you. One can combine trend line trading and a consolidation trading.
the demonstration is now finished. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section and do course. I will be busy recording another video to answer your specific question. As always, if you learn something new, you say, George, or you have a good sleep today, and you manage to produce an excellent video for the first time in your life. All right? And I will subscribe again after I have unsubscribed many times before. What you need to do, all right? Use a demo account. Practice with this, practice with this, practice, 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 until you master it before going live. The idea of combining the consolidation and all those multiple trade lines that you can draw, all right, is to find trading setup. What is a trading setup? A trading setup is an invitation to buy. It's a trading opportunity. It's not a trading signal yet. You may receive an invitation. You may decide to go or not to go. It's up to you, yes or no. So when you receive an invitation to buy or to sell, you will use a different time frame trading method to trade it. So you receive an invitation to come to a party, you will acknowledge and say, yes, I will be there. No, I will not be there. The confirmation of your invitation is what we call the signal. So when we receive the signal, say, yes, I will come to your party. No, I will not come because there was no signal to buy or to sell. Never buy or sell without a signal. The only way that you will know if there is a signal or not is when you are applying a different time frame trading method. So by combining the trend lines and the consolidation trading, you are trying to find hotspot trading zone and also trading setup on the edge. Though the consolidation is going on, the price is not just touching the resistance and the support by mistake. There are other elements, those are trend lines, they are powerful. And when you see a trading setup, you want to implement a different time frame trading method, or what we call a top-down trading method. So if you are very new to the topic of different time frame trading method, top-down trading method, you to search the phrase mastering top-down trading method by 2-4 stock trader. Digit 2, digit 4, stock trader. Don't watch it anywhere else. So trader, I've been following up for years. I say, George, I'll mark this video down because you say in every video. Because it's so important, that's what I'm saying in every video, okay? So you also can learn to master a top-down trading method. So when you apply a top-down trading method, that's when you will see the signal. And when the signal is in place, you implement, you will go to a low uh, entry time frame to enter the trade, all right? If the signal fails, you close the trade without blinking, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today about how to combine trend lines and consolidation trading, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. If the video has opened your eyes widely, if the video has been useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you think that George is the same repackage, you try to impress me. I'm not impressed at all. Mark it down, please. <laughs> all right. However, if you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share it on the social website. That's a very, very useful to us, okay? Sometimes I'm posting video first on Facebook. All my forest training video will be posted on Facebook page because uh, our forest channel is very new and I'm only getting like a 13 view. I can't get up for 13 view or 18 view. So I post my forest video, currency trading video on Facebook page. Follow us on Facebook. My Facebook page is Tokastik Dash MACD. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a very new channel. All right, 24 Forest Trader. Digit 2 Digit 4 Forest Trader. Support us, please. So we may make that channel a big channel. All right, 24 Forest Trader. Be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to combine trend lines and consolidation trading, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. Thank you for watching and I will speak to you soon. Happy trading to you all.